That was fun. Something, guys. So full time, Sporting Lisbon two, Arsenal two. Now, it was a game I kind of predicted would be that it would be. A new sport in Lisbon would be stubborn. I did predict a draw. Um, yeah, and what we're noticing is exactly what I've been talking about. The squad's too light. Players are going to get tired. Players are going to pick up injuries. You know what I mean? It, it, I'm still hoping for. I'm still hoping that we we pull through in the sec, in the next round, and I do think in the second leg, we are going to pull through. Now we went in front through a uh, man like Big Will, right? Another assist for Vieira, by the way. I mean, people have been getting on Vieira's case, saying he's shit, he's not good enough. Is this? Is that? Me personally, I'm in a different camp. I'm looking at Vieira and I think to myself, I know what you're trying to do. It's just it's not yet paying off. But he's still chipping in. You know what I mean? If he, if I'm happy with the midfielder making assists, I mean, you know what I mean. I, I'm happy with that. It's, it's just like a striker scoring goals. You know what I mean, like if someone's a, if someone's a forward, and the score the the score the odd goal here and there when they're actually involved in the game. You know what I mean? I, I, okay, that, you know what I mean. Vieira is a midfielder and he is making assists. You know what I mean? He's been the reason why some goals that we've scored have gone in. You know what I mean? So I, I'm I'm not going to get on his case because I see potential. I see something maybe other people don't. But I'm 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 giving him a chance. Man like Big Fabs. You get me? So we went in front. Big Will with a towering header off the cross from the corner. Looked all right. Going from then, it's like, okay, yep, going forward. But then, they end up equalising for a corner. And Jakub Kiwiar ducked. He did an ozel at Everton when he ducked and then the, the player headed the ball in. Like, he, he did that. Like, he, you're a footballer, you're a professional footballer. Whether that's a natural instinct or not, that should not kick in. You're you're in football mode at that point. You know what I mean? Like the natural instinct if a ball's coming towards your face is for you to move out of the way. But when you're a footballer, it's supposed to hit it. If it's if it's gonna stop it going in inside your own net. You know what I mean? That's just an example. If a cross is coming in, you're meant to get involved. You're not meant to be ducking out of the way. That's what that, that that's what children would do if they ran into a football pitch while grown men are playing football. You know what I mean? But Yako Kiwiya, I know it's I know it's his first start for us, but you can't be doing that. You know what I mean? And and Matt Turner, his positioning, like he he, he didn't know whether what to do with him when he decided it was too late. The ball fizzed past him. He he, he wasn't saving that. Oh hell no! Oh, and that was their equaliser. And then Martinelli gets booked. He gets booked for something he didn't do. Now, it was Granite Xhaka who knocked the ball out of the keeper's hand. But it was Martinelli that got booked. You know what I mean? Granite Xhaka, maybe he could have been like, you know what, it was me. I'll take the yellow card. But then again, you think about it, if he gets a yellow card, he's more at risk of getting a red card than Martinelli. So Martinelli essentially has took one for the team here. You know what I mean? He's took one for the team. VAR even checked it and they were like, nah, fam. So unless VAR was trying to help us, <laughs> then I'm just hoping that you know VAR don't get, that just don't get carried away, and because you know, I mean, we, mistaken identity could initially cost the team. You know what I mean? So we're going to half time one all. Second half, they go in front fifty five minutes for Paulinho, and it was. One of those, we had all the possession. We were doing all the pressing. They just go up the other end, and 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 then it just happened. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a, it. The goal, the goal we conceded. It was a typical Arsenal goal to concede. You got all the possession, but then when they make an attack, they score from theirs. 
I mean, but then we ended up, we ended up going back, equal, uh, we ended up equalising, and it was an on goal through Morita. <laughs> Granit Xhaka makes kind of a pacey pass. It wasn't a shot, even though he was in a position to shoot, but it wasn't a shot. Um, he was trying to put the pass forward for, I think Martinelli was the one that was up front. And it deflected off Morita and went in. Wrong foot of the keeper and he went in. We were fortunate for that, but I, I reckon we would have scored anyway. I mean, we looked like scoring. It, it was brewing. And if anything, we looked like we were going to come out with something in that game. So, second leg at Emirates. I expect us to get past these men. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying that to be big-headed, right? But I expect to get past these men. Now, in terms of the players now, you know, Partey came on. We actually looked a bit better when he came on, actually. Um, man like Smith Rao, Smithy G. You know what I mean? That's my nickname for him, even though there isn't a G in his name, but, you know. He came on for Reese Nels uh, Nelson. Yeah, there was a point I forgot to mention in this game as well when Martinelli, when it was 2-1, he went one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. He, he got past everyone. He basically did a Walcott of when Walcott ran all the way down, took on all the Liverpool players in the Champions League all them years ago. He basically did that and then he took a touch too heavy and the defender ended up blocking the, you know, his shot. You know, if Martinelli wants to be a centre forward, he has to do better there, man. You know I mean, there was a point where the, uh, I think it was Granit Xhaka that passed the ball to him and I felt he could have hit it first time. But he's, he took a touch, took another touch and then he shot. I think if he'd have hit it first time, you know, he, he might have worked the keeper at least more anyway. Um, Gabriel comes on for Kiwi R. Now, players, obviously... The first team are, are, are playing, you know, throughout all this season. But you're starting to see tired legs. You know what I mean? Uh, ben White, he was starting to look tired. Arteta went mental on the touchline, telling Ben White to get back when Sporting had a goal kick. You know what I mean? Ben, ben White looked tired. You know what I mean? Tommy Asu came on and, he, and he, he, was, he actually looked good. He came on for Zinchenko. Man like Big Zinni. You know, Big Tommy came on and he actually looked good. He actually... He was actually doing his job and he played in at left back. You know I mean, uh, to be honest with you, you know, if Tommy Asu can do that inverting at left back, being a right footed left back and he's still willing to cross with his with his left foot, you know what I mean? That wouldn't be a bad bad shout for when it comes to subbing Big Zinni off. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be it wouldn't be a bad shout. But um yeah, there was legs getting tired. Uh, Saka looked a bit, um, looked like you could tell that he's he's getting overworked. You know what I mean? And we can't have, we can't have Saka overworking because you know this stuff bites you in the ass. We've seen it with Liverpool. You know what I mean? Look at look at Liverpool last season, chasing four trophies. You know what I mean? It catches up. You know what I mean? Like everything Saka's doing this season, it's gonna catch up. Unfortunately, it it, was, it will catch up to him. You know what I mean? It will, unfortunately, will catch up. So there needs to be that Saka can't play every game, so somebody needs to go there. You know what I mean? This is why I'm, I'm all for Salt and Pepe getting back into this team. But we ain't going to be calling from loan or anything now, are we? You know what I mean? But I'm all for that. You know what I mean? I, I, I want that strength in depth. That's, that's how you win multiple competitions as well. You know what I mean? Because if you've got a light squad and, you, and you're and chasing more than one competition, it catches up. I mean, we have Manu that won the League Cup. And then the players are still, the, the, they're kind of like paying for it in terms of how overworked they're getting. And then they've got games piling up because they're in all competitions. I mean, that, it, 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 that shit catches up to you. And that's what I'm worried about, about this Arsenal team. I mean, especially, you know, obviously the title race that we're in. It's, it's worrying. But second leg at Emirates next week, you know, I, I, I should hope that we're going to put this put this tie to bed, get in the next round. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, I mean, end of the day, 2-2 two, two draw, it's not the end of the world. I know away goes aren't in it anymore. 
the away, away goal rule, but I fan, I really fancy in the second leg. I think I think we're gonna do it. But let me know what you guys think anyway. Like the video, share the video, comment, subscribe to the channel, follow all the socials, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.